So today I wanted to look at something that I have wondered about for a while and after doing some research I found some other resources but um, not as many as I would have liked to have found and that is simply what encoder for streaming and recording video through OBS should I be using? Is it uh, X264 or is it going to be the NVIDIA encoder otherwise known as a V... Mm, mm, otherwise known as NVENC. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible. Here in just a second, you're gonna see a few graphs, and actually by a few, I mean just two. So they are gonna be of the samples that I took with the control being no streaming at all, then, then both of the encoders are used while just recording, then also both encoders used while actually streaming to YouTube. After that, I'm gonna give you just a couple of the recorded um, gameplay videos so you can sort of judge if there's quality differences or how you feel about those quality differences, that sort of thing. And then I am going to give you my final thoughts and conclusions, wrap up, that sort of thing um, at the very end. So without further ado, let's hop right into those uh, benchmark graphs. And those graphs bring me into the conclusion. So obviously the best uh, gameplay experience is going to come from no streaming, no encoding whatsoever, and we already knew that. What I didn't expect was that, at least in Shadow of Mordor, there didn't seem to be a hugely significant difference from the X264 versus the NVIDIA encoder in terms of gameplay performance. They were almost identical. However, I will say in each run that I did, and I did three runs per, in each run that I did, the X264 encoder always outperformed the NVIDIA encoder regardless of what runs you're comparing and regardless of what, regardless of what order they were put in. So in that regard, if you're going for purely gameplay, it looks like the X264 encoder is the way to go. And that just is probably because your most games are not CPU bound, especially in a setup like mine that uses a, a Core i7-4790K. However, I will ob obviously just mention that if you're using an i5 processor, paired with a similar graphics card like I have a 1070, your results are gone very little bit because I definitely have more processor headroom than you may have in a Core 5 setup. So this is sort of one of those things that you kind of have to go based off of your own rig. For my rig, it doesn't look like it makes much of a difference. Now I did look at City Skyline as a way of comparing the two in a CPU bound game that's less graphically bound and even in City Skyline, I really didn't see a big difference one way or the other. But again, obviously, your results may vary. So I'm going to go ahead and put my streaming settings and my recording settings in the description below in case you're interested in taking a look at those. Also, my CPU and uh, uh, my PC's uh, configuration is going to be in the um description down below as well so you can take a look at the hardware that I'm putting in my computer and getting out with this. Uh, basically it's a 1070 with a 4790K and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Your results will vary because that's the nature of PCs so that's basically a take it for what it's worth and um, here's some here's some video clips from both so you can sort of see if there's a quality difference of the recording itself between the two encoders. If you like this content and you want to see more like it, then you should, well, like it in uh, that button down below. You should just push it. Also, there's a subscribe button down there. You need to hit that as well if you 
uh, really approve of the content that I'm throwing out there. And you can follow me on uh, Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. That's all for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.